Hi, I'm Angelo from Eleven Labs, and this is a quick video on how to create an agent that can people can call and book meetings in your calendar with. So it's I've set it up in English and Italian, but it can work in any of the 32 languages that we support. And to get started, I've just created a, a simple first message that the agent's going to say to me, and then I've got a system prompt here. Um, I'm telling it what the date is. This would be a dynamic variable that you can pass in at runtime, and then I'm telling the agent about the different tools. Um, that it has access to, so get slot availability. That's going to check um, if I've got any free slots in my calendar, and then book meeting here. This is going to do the fun stuff of actually booking meetings in my calendar with the user's information. Um, and so here I've also this is running off Gemini 2.0 Flash, and I've also configured the agents here. Um, obviously, you're going to need to set up the um, secret key that Cal.com expects, um, and there'll be a guide about how to do this in the docs. Um, and then also you're going to pass in description of the uh, object that the endpoint is expecting. Um, and also we'll we'll have a guide on how to set that up with uh, the best practices. Um, and yeah, let's test it out. Um, I've already created a, a fake uh, busy slot from two to three thirty. I'm going to try and book a meeting at two. The agent will tell me it's not possible, and then we'll try and book a, a later slot. Hey, I'm Angelo's AI agent. Hi, um, I'd really like to talk to Angelo today, um, maybe at like 2 p.m. Is that possible? Hello, to schedule a meeting with Angelo, could you please specify the purpose of the meeting and the date you'd like to book? Yeah, I'd love to talk to him today. Um, and the purpose is I just want to talk to him about AI. Okay, I can help with that. So you'd like to book a 15-minute meeting for today, March the 6th, around 2 p.m. to discuss AI. Is that correct? Yeah, exactly. Okay, I'll check Angelo's availability for you. One moment. It looks like that specific time is unavailable. Would you like me to check for other available time slots around that time? Perhaps a little earlier or later? Yeah, sure. Um, I'm actually free at 5 p.m. Would that time work? Okay, I'll check Angelo's availability for 5 p.m. today. Yes, 5 p.m. is available. Before I book the meeting, can I get your full name and email address as well as confirm that your time zone is Europe, London? Yeah, my my time zone is Europe, London. Um, my name is actually also Angelo. Um, and my email is angelo at example.com. Okay, so I have the email as angelo at example.com. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. Okay, great. I'll go ahead and book the meeting for you now. Perfect, the meeting is booked. You and Angelo will receive a calendar invite shortly. Thank you for your time. Thank you, goodbye. And yeah, as you can see here, the meeting has been booked um, with the fictitious Angelo at example.com. And we both get reminders about that. If we check here now, we can see um, the call transcript. Um, you can see that it's correctly done the tool calls. Um, so it's it was requested 2.15 to start with, um, or 2 to 2.15. Then it got the actual um, slot that I was available at. And then it called the book meeting tool and it uh, successfully did that. Um, once you've got this set up, you could do a whole bunch of interesting things with our post call webhooks. So that means that when a call ends, uh, you'll get notified of that and you could start doing some further processing, um, perhaps researching the individual that booked a, booked a call with you or updating some, some entry in your, in your CRM. Um, so yeah, I hope this comes in helpful. I'm really excited to see uh, what kind of workflows you build around it and also um, definitely try cloning your own voice and have people book um, with an agent that has your own voice. That's really cool. Awesome. Thank you very much.